there everyone, this is Sarah. Today I'm going to be showing you this Crayola Mess Free Airbrush. It is for ages 3 and up and I bought it at Walmart for $19.95. In this set you can turn mess free markers into spray art. I'm pretty excited to see how this works, so let's get started. Here's what comes inside of the box. You get instructions, the airbrush machine, this has a wand or a sprayer on one end, and I'll show you how it works in just a moment. Here's the on and off switch, and then on the back side is the battery case, and you are going to need to purchase four C batteries in order to use this machine. It comes with several different colors of markers. You get red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. They also give you three sheets of stencils in different themes. This one is a space theme. This one is a jungle theme. And this one is a under the water ocean theme. They also give you a pad of paper, which is the color wonder paper. This is special paper that goes with the markers. If you've never seen these markers before, they're kind of cool. When you take the cap off, you can't see any color until you apply it to the special paper. To get started, you're going to put your marker inside of the sprayer. Then you're going to lock it into place. I did have a little bit of trouble getting my marker into the sprayer, and I wasn't quite sure how the little clip on the side was supposed to lock into place. <laughs> it kept snapping out. All right, I think I figured it out. Now let's get to spraying. I've chosen the seahorse to spray first. I love seahorses. I think they are just the cutest. It is pretty cool how the marker ink doesn't appear until it hits the paper. I guess that isn't so bad for my first stencil. You can definitely tell that it's a seahorse. And my second one didn't turn out too shabby either. It definitely looks way more airbrushed. Let's try the green color with this seaweed. Hmm, looks like I accidentally got some overspray on the side. I guess if you were super worried about that, you could always put a piece of paper underneath the stencil. Let's try the blue color with this jellyfish. That stencil was a little bit more difficult because some of the edges didn't want to stay flat. But that blue color sure is pretty. When you just use the markers by themselves, it looks so cool when you apply them to the special paper. It's like magic how the color appears. Let's see how the yellow marker looks. I kind of smudged it with some of the marker that was already on my fingers. I guess you need to keep your hands clean in order to make your picture perfect. My last color to experiment is the orange, and I have to make this shark just to see what it looks like. Hey, the shark did come out pretty cool. Although the pictures came out okay, I did have some initial trouble getting the airbrush started. This is actually my second one. The first one didn't work at all and I had to return it to the store. With the second one, I had trouble with it too until I looked at some of the reviews online and they said to actually hit the top of the machine. So I did. Seriously, why won't this thing work? Come on machine, come on. Finally, 
So I guess the story is that the top part where the sprayer connects to the machine can come loose. So if yours doesn't work or if it stops working, I guess just start hitting the machine. Also, the sprayer would tend to get clogged from time to time, so you have to keep that pretty clean in order to keep your sprays even. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't seen some of my other Crayola Maker videos, you should definitely check them out. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next video.